Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about President Donald Trump awarded former Notre Dame football coach Lou Holtz the Presidential Medal of Freedom during a White House ceremony Thursday. A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. USA Today Sports Paul Meyerberg breaks down the latest Amway coaches poll. USA Today Trump announced the award back in September with Holtz in attendance, calling the coach an incredible leader, and said Holtz earned the award because of his life, career and charitable work. The Medal of Freedom is the highest civilian honor the president can award. It's the highest honor or award you could possibly receive and I receive it with mixed emotions," Holtz told Fox News from the White House just before Thursday's ceremony. First of all, I'm humbled. There are many more people far worthy than me I can assure you. Nobody is more appreciative than me. Trump said several college coaches wrote letters recommending Holtz for the award. He also referenced Holtz's wife, Beth who died in July, calling her a special and great person. President Donald Trump speaks during a ceremony to present the Presidential Medal of Freedom to former Notre Dame football coach Lou Holtz. Photo, Evan Vucci, AP, Holtz, 83, has been an avid supporter of Trump and the president and has called him a longtime friend. A White House press release Wednesday, stated that, America recognizes Lou Holtz as one of the greatest football coaches of all time for his unmatched accomplishments on the gridiron, but he is also a philanthropist, author, and true American patriot. Holtz coached 11 years at Notre Dame, 1986-96, and led the Irish to their most recent national championship in 1988. He grew up in West Virginia and Eastern Ohio and was the first member of his family to enroll in college, according to the White House press release. At Kent State, Holtz played football, studied history, and joined the Army Reserve Office's Training Corps. For the next seven years, he honorably served as an officer in the United States Army Reserves. When asked about his service during an interview with the American Legion, Holtz said, I was taught at an early age that I had an obligation to serve my country. Holtz would have coaching stops at William & Mary, North Carolina State, Arkansas, Minnesota, Notre Dame and South Carolina. He also coached the New York Jets in 1976. At Notre Dame Holtz compiled a record of 100 302. He was passed by current coach Brian Kelly last week for second on the school's all-time coaching wins list. When the honor was announced in September, Notre Dame spokesman Paul Brown, congratulated Holtz in a statement. Lou Holtz is among America's greatest college football coaches, leading Notre Dame to a national championship in 1988.